do you want to take your wood round from this to this? Then stick around for this episode to find out how you can create this and three more wood round DIYs that are beginner friendly. Let's jump in. For this project, we're gonna create a farm fresh wood sign. So the first thing we're gonna do is take our wood round, um, use some painter's tape and mark it off. And then I'm using some black acrylic paint in one section. And then I'm gonna use white acrylic paint for our letters. These letters came from the Dollar Tree. Um, you could also use chalk paint here if that's what you have. I also picked up this vinyl from the Dollar Tree and all I did was put it in the other space that we didn't paint. I'm using some scissors and just cutting around the wood sign. Make sure you have something underneath when you're cutting just to protect your surface. Once I've cut it out to match the side of that round, then I'm just going to take my sanding block and get any of the edges that I might have missed with my scissors. This bow was a bow that I made in a previous project, and I will link that video at the end here and in my description box. I just glued that on, glued my farm fresh letters down to the bottom, and here it is styled in some decor. friends are you enjoying today's video i hope so i had a lot of fun making these and if you're enjoying it as much as i did i hope you'll go down and hit the like button so my video can be seen by other people this project is a pioneer woman inspired wood sign i picked up my wood rounds at hobby lobby in a pack of three in the unfinished wood area whiskey and wit just did a video where she talked about where her favorite uh, section of the hobby lobby store is which happened to be the unfinished wood area which is also my favorite section if you want to check out her video she gives you some secrets on how to shop hobby lobby and i will link that down in my description box but we're just going to make a section here and then i took some brown paint that i added with water to make a stain and I stained the middle section. I also picked up this vinyl at the Dollar Tree and we're just going to do the same thing that we did in our previous project. We're going to lay it down here, we're going to get out any kind of bubbles, flip it over, and then what I like to do is put the paper back on there and then flip that open just so I could save that section. I did both areas that were separated by the brown section and then I'm using my sanding block to get any excess pieces. Then I'm taking some ribbon, mine came from Hobby Lobby, and I'm just going to tie this little awareness bow this ribbon is kind of big for an awareness bow, but I do really love how this turned out. You can put any bow here that you like. I just tied mine off in the middle with twine, made another one out of some sheer pink ribbon that I also got at Hobby Lobby, and then I'm going to glue these two ribbons together into the left-hand side of our sign. We're going to glue this into the uh, wood part so that our flower section is still showing. I'm just going to glue the pink ribbon on top of the green ribbon. Once I get that together, I'm going to take some of my solo wood flowers that I had in my stash. I'm going to glue one on each side of my bow. Then it gives a little bit more dimension. Then I picked up this Hello Letters at Hobby Lobby and I painted them white, glued it onto this middle here, and here it is styled in some decor. For this project we're going to create a wood tray and this is like a oversized wood round that they have in the unfinished wood section. I also picked up these pieces that were in the unfinished wood section and then we're going to use some white Waverly chalk paint. So I'm just going to cover all of these. There, I think there's five in a pack. I'm only going to use four and then I covered the wood round as well with the white paint. I also picked up this stencil at Hobby Lobby in the clearance section. I paid $1.74 for it. It's a very large stencil and I'm just going to to stencil it on both sides. Then I took the middle of my wood round on the bottom and I'm going to attach these little pieces to make feet out of this tray. This project could not be simpler. It's definitely user friendly. Any stencil you have will do. Um, and if you're a beginner, this is definitely something that you can make. It's beautiful. It's high end and you will be super proud of yourself. But here it is styled in some decor.
So this project is probably the easiest one out of our video today. We're going to make a gather sign and I'm using my brown acrylic paint. I just mix this with water to make a stain. And I'm going to cover both sides of this and then I have this gather that I believe came from Amazon. If I find it, I'll link it down below and I'm going to cover that with white Waverly chalk paint. So once this is dry, this is the cool effect that it gives as a stain. All I am going to do is glue this to the bottom of our wood round. It's very simple but very elegant and high end looking and definitely anyone could create this. Here it is styled in some decor. If you want to find out how I made the buffalo check bow, check out this video here. And if you are into Pioneer Woman or just that really fun floral design, check out this video here. I create some Pioneer Woman dupes. As always, wherever you are in your journey is a perfect place to start. And I will see you in my next video. Bye, friends.